No Japanese info by Japanese people. Damn. Count on me. Hey there, it's Naoto. Today's episode concerns one of the most typical and serious misunderstandings about Japan. What comes to your mind when it comes to ninja? Ninja fascinates us every time in TV shows, animes, movies, and ninja is like a very talented action star. You may have a lot of questions about them. For instance, like, did they exist in the first place? The answer is yes, they did exist and played important role in Japanese war period. However, I must say, perhaps the real ninja in history may be different from what you think of. So this time, I'd like to tell you what ninja exactly was. In the world, ninja was a Japanese spy during war period. In general, ninja was hired by somebody like influential samurai and carried out his mission in a group. In this sense, they were, so to say, the CIA in Japanese war period. Actually, the reality of ninja is not so uncovered due to insufficient record about them. You know, ninja was a member of spy agency, so the information about them was a top secret and had not been recorded in writing. However, we can guess what kind of persons they were, to some extent, by referring a famous place for ninja. For instance, Iga. Iga is located in the depths of mountain in Mie Prefecture. Iga produced many top elites of ninja, and ninja from Iga had a good name for reliability. For instance, one of the most famous ninja in history, Hattori Hanzo, was from Iga. Then, here's a question. Are there any underlying reasons for the fame of Iga? Yes, there are. The first and most important determinant is that Iga is located in mountainous area. This is a key point. People living there had special techniques of mountains. They could move nimbly at mountains, hide themselves, reconnoitre enemies. No wonder they were professionals of mountainous area in terms of experience, knowledge, and physical ability. And secondly, Iga is near from Kyoto. Japan's capital of the time. Some clans who lost political strife in Kyoto fled to Iga, and they brought some information and knowledge which were forefront of the time. This played an important role in the development of Iga itself, so people were educated just like the people at Kyoto. Let's get back on the track. What is Ninja? The time Ninja played an active part was a war period of samurai. For the sake of victory, information played a significant role. That is to conceal information about oneself and conversely to give wrong information to enemies. This is what is called information warfare and ninja was in charge of treating information. In short, they had three core missions. Reconnaissance of enemy, protect information of employer, and join in the battles. Let's take a look one by one. The reconnaissance is to get information of enemy in secret. Ninja infiltrated in enemy's territory, such as castles, and secretly try to get valuable information. If they fortunately get valuable information, then they need to transmit it to the employer as soon as possible. Now, their physical ability contributes to the transmission. At that time, there was no use for tools such as radio, Morse code. That's why people had to just move in order to transmit information. But on the way of moving, they had to pass through some dangerous places. Mountain was full of danger in that there were bandits. However, Ninja was professional of mountain, so they could deal with it and pass through mountain so quickly. That's why Ninja had a great advantage in reconnaissance. Secondly, protecting information of employer. Again, it's information warfare. The manipulation of information was so effective. And if you want to stop Ninja, you should use Ninja too. Thus, another group of Ninja is going to be hired. There can be battles Ninja versus Ninja. And thirdly, joining in battles. They join in battles, but not at the front line. Samurai fought head on at the front line. Instead, Ninja was, so to say, a kind of stage hand. Ninja was good at assassination. For instance, Ninja put poison in the well at enemy's castle. To sum up, Ninja was a group of spies who was in charge of information warfare. It requires hard training, but everybody could become Ninja. That's why I regard Ninja as the Japanese CIA in samurai history. 
So that's all for today. Thanks for watching to the end. Don't forget to subscribe and see you next time on the Jab Live. ありがとうございました。